Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Everyone, welcome back to our SQL series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use select a statement. So, what exactly is select a statement? So, the SQL select a statement is used to select data or records from a table or a database. So, whenever you want to select few columns or if you want to select the entire column in a table, then you use select a statement to get your records. Okay, so we have our select a statement definition here, right? So let me write table. Okay, now the first thing is that how you basically how to get the entire thing from a table, the entire columns in a table. And from this video onwards, we will be using this database named as email data. Okay, this has a number of tables which I will be explaining you throughout this videos because this table these tables have real life example so the real life data set which which gives you more exposure to real world problems which we solve using sql okay so the first question comes is that i want to see the total product list which is here okay this product list table so i want to see entire thing which is present in product list or I, if I can rephrase it in another way, then the question would be, what are all the columns and their values in product list? I want to know about all the products which is present in a company. So how you can do it? To select the entire thing, what you need to do is that you need to write select star. This star means everything. From first column till the last column, and from the first column, first value till the last column, last value. Then we will write from. Then we will have to write table name. So before table name, it's a good practice to write the database name also. So we, we will write database name first. So email data dot product list, right? So product underscore list. Okay. And then we'll close this query with this semicolon. And I'll run this query. Okay. Now you get to see all the columns which are present in this table so we have four columns we have product type which is a then there is another product type b product type c product type d right so we have four product type here a b c d and within this product type we have the subcategory of products which is a1 a10 a11 a12 what is the product name so the product name can be anything but I have masked the data here and I have put it product name as product A1, product A10, product A11 and what is the description of the product okay so <clears throat> this is the way you write query to display the entire column or the entire data records for a particular table now suppose if you require only product and their description so we have a selected requirement in which we want to see only product type and the product description so when i say product type i'm 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 saying this product subtype basically sorry so i want to see product subtype and the product description so in order to get a selected columns from a table what you need to do is that you need to write select then you have to specifically write the column names so here i'll use product underscore subtype then I'll use this product description so make sure that after writing the product name you should have this uh, comma here so all the product uh, sorry all the columns will be segregated by a comma in your query then we'll put product description underscore description okay these are the two columns which are required now we'll write from which table i want to get this so from email underscore data dot product list right product list and i'll close this query then i'll run this query and i'll have only the product subtype and the product description okay 
So if you see when I have run this query, when I ran this query, I got 65 rows. When I ran this query with the selected column, I got 65 rows. So my query is correct. And whenever I run this query, I'll get the entire list of product subtype and their product description. So what does this what does this query says to SQL? So if I if we go one by one, this says select in a simple English statement. It's asking SQL Workbench to select this particular column and this particular column from this table product list, which is within this database email underscore data. Okay. Now uh, we have reached at the end of this video. Uh, so I will show you how to select the distinct product type in our next video okay so currently you can see that you have uh, you might have multiple products so if i run this query okay you will see that product type is repeating multiple times right so if i want to get distinct or unique product type how can i do it so i'll show you in the next video hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button